For someone that wants to become the president of a university, what advice would you give them on a career path? I was listening to the president, not the president, but the coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers maybe a couple weeks ago, Mike Tomlin, mm -hmm. and he spoke about how he was initially a offensive, I think he was an offensive wide receivers coach. Right. This yeah. was when he was 22 or 23. Mm -hmm. And then he switched over to become a defensive back coach because he saw that Tony Dungy and other black men who became head coaches were came from the defensive side of the ball. So it was just a little neck like that. Is there anything that you see that you would advise someone that wants to become a president of a university? Um, no, it, I mean, it goes back to, for me, you know, I think you just got to find a thing that you love doing. I always tell people, find it and do the best that you can instead of just trying to think, let me start making these strategic moves. It's like whatever job you have, you need to, you need to try to kill that job. You need to be doing it in such a way that it stands out. So I think that's part of it. And if it's something that you love, you don't get disappointed because once again, you have no control whether or not you're going to become a president. You just, you have none. So those are the challenges I think. So I, I think those kind of things um, are still important for me. Just find what you love doing and do the best that you can. Uh, and then you sort of get yourself in a position that you can be selected um, as a president.